Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Spring is in the air. PB Lawrence Stakes Day we're previewing today. This is of course always filmed on Wednesdays and Saturday is coming up. Highlighted by the PP Lawrence Stakes at Group 2 level. Also we've got the Regal Roller at listed level. Sprint race, good field and some Group 3 races for the two-year-olds and our three-year-olds. So let's kick it off. Race number one is a Phillies and Mares benchmark 84 over the 1700 metres. I've gone with Sovereign Award and no effort. So Sovereign Awards had two runs this preparation. First up it won with a big weight and then I think it was two weeks back, one at Mooney Valley second up. Um, just led all the way. Ollie could do the same again, drawn a good gate from gate three. No effort. Now, um, I think it ran around Moscow Red last start at Sandown, and it was flashing home. It ran third, it was flashing home. And first up, it didn't perform. Second up, it kind of remembered what racing was about. So no effort could surprise at $9. Race number two is a benchmark 78 over the 1,000. Another tough race with a $4 field, but there's only like nine in it. The Closer and Propel. Now the Closer's first up, definitely the class runner in the race. Gate three, Lockie Nindorf. I don't know about the booking of Lockie Nindorf. Maybe they couldn't get a regular rider in. That's why I'm a bit wary of it. Propel as well. Um, I've been with it twice, three times in a row, I think. Yeah, three times in a row. And it's around fourth, fourth and second. It goes well without winning, but maybe just with the field not being as strong, it could go close to winning. From gate two, it should get a nice run. Race three is a mare's handicap over the 1100 metres. This race is impossible. Seven horses and it's $4.60 the field. Impossible. So I'm going to just go with three because it's impossible. Our campana, she's a thief and acting. Now, acting is the horse that's first up and it won a group two level at group two level. And that was in the um, blue diamond pro -ed. So if Oliver can get it into a good spot in a win, our campana and she's a thief. They clash. Last time they clashed, um, she's a thief won. I just think our campana did too much work between the 800 and the 400. And our campana's drawn a similar gate to last time. She's a thief drawn a similar gate to last time. I'm only going with our campana because I think it's way bigger odds than she's a thief. And um, yeah, so Pretty Moody usually gets it right. Race 4, an open handicap over the 1600 metres. Finally, something I'm actually really confident in is Ploncel. Now, Ploncel strikes a field that is really weak. The, there's lots of horses that are first up, and those first up horses are really good. But it has the race fitness on its side. The other horses in the race that have race fitness on, this, on their side is not up to Ploncel level. Ploncel is way better than everything else. Maybe a few of the first up ones are a bit better than it. The Ploncel loves Caulfield and will love this race. It is, sh it should be odds on favourite, but it's only 280, I'd be taking it now. Race five, the group three vein stakes over the 1100 metres. Group three, but it's not even the feature. <laughs> Rulership and Hydra Star. Now they're the two favourites. I'm going with Rulership, it's first up. It ran in a blue diamond. It was second favourite behind Hanseatic. Nearly beat Hanseatic in the blue diamond uh, pro -ude. I like the booking of Damien Lane, it's done okay on a wet track, um, and I think it's a, the class runner. Now, a horse that can improve sharply is Hydro Star. It'll just improve with every run. It's a really green. It was green first up at Sandown. That's why I like the big track. I'm not sure about Caulfield, the tight turning track for it, but I, if it was at Flemington, probably Hydro Star, but I'm with rulership. It's already seen Caulfield, and it should be on close. Now, Race 6 is the Group 3 Quisette of the 1100 metres is the best on the day. This is Parlophone. Now, ma a majority of this field is first up, and Parlophone's got the race fitness on its side. It's sort of like Ploncio's race, but Parlophone, it's won two in a row. It won at Sandown, beating Peggy Celine, who just won today at Sandown, and it won at Morpherville when I don't think it wanted to go in the gates by memory. Parlophone, $2.50, Damien Oliver, should be going well. Now race 7, the listed Regal Roller over 1200 metres. This race was in actually impossible. I'm going with Viridine, but it, I don't know, it has to carry 62 kilos. That's the only concern, but it it won the um, Bletchingly last start and it should be going well. 
Now there's one horse that I haven't put in the numbers here, but she shall fly. It's got the minimum weight and last start it flew home. Don't be surprised if it runs a good race. Be good to your mothers in this race. I haven't even put it in my top four, but it just lost its will to win last start, uh, last preparation. Race eight, now the feature, the PB Lawrence Stakes, over 1400 meters. We're going with two horses. They're both first up. We're going with Sabatiano and Arcadia Queen. Happy to go over Mystic Journey, and I'll tell you later. But Sabatiano's first up. Its trial was really good, um, and its first up record's really good. It goes well at Caulfield. From gate three, can get across to the lead, and it should be doing that pretty easily. So Sabatiano goes on top, ahead of Arcadia Queen. The only reason I'm against it is because it's never struck a wet track, and it's 41 weeks off a spell. And Mystic Journey, having put it in there, but it's never been past the soft five, which is the only concern. Now, race nine, a benchmark 84 of the 1400 meters. This is a really, really weird race for me. But Showmanship and Left Hand Man. Now, Showmanship's a $1.85 favorite. It's never really performed on a wet track, which is really confusing. I don't want to take a $1.85 about it. It's not a dollar eighty-five chance. It's about three dollars, but I don't know why it's a um, dollar eighty-five. I've gone with Left Hand Man at fifteen dollars as well. Great win last start in Morfordville, and it could prove challenging to showmanship as a danger. Now the best bet I've already said Parlophone and Ponciel, the other one, but mostly Parlophone. So that is that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a good day.